Hi Aquarius, so I'm starting with the air signs and I'm really late on these videos, I know I am so don't shoot me. <laughs> um, but they're going to be shorter than my normal ones because I've been really really busy lately. Um, and I'm trying to get it in so I am actually going to book days in my diary now so I can get everyone, get them all done as well as my readings and all things that are going on in my personal life. Um, so I'm going to start straight off with Aquarius and I want to cover the first half of November uh, with the Spiritual Tarot. So what's going on with Aquarius uh, spiritually, 5D. So for my Aquariuses, the situation. It's all the plexus. We've got instinct. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. I'm still on my phone. Um, so the situation is the solar plexus. I love the number three as well. Uh, so maybe we, we are coming into alignment, body, mind and spirit. Um, I love threes. Um, so solar plexus, it's like choosing... I kind of want to say there's some areas in your life where you need to make the decision here, in your solar plexus, rather than here. So what's the challenge to this? Another major arcana. So the challenge, new beginnings. So yeah, it's like, and you've got instincts telling you that there's new beginnings. Like there's, It's like you're shutting old doors behind you, leaving the past behind you, even if that's um, your old self. Because they're both major arcana as well, and it's your spiritual tarot. Uh, it's psychic tarot. So you've got, you're heading off out looking for your new beginnings, uh, something that you're more passionate about, finding... It could be awakening, uh, you know, shutting, shutting the door to the past, the things that you need to leave in the past. I also think that there's aspects of yourself that need to be left in the past, whether that's anxiety or anger or anything like that. It, it's like you reevaluating yourself. That's what I kind of feel with the solar plexus card being there as well. So the challenge is to go for the new beginning. Like, don't let go of the fear that's holding you back from shutting that door. You know, so there could be endings, need for endings, in order to start off a new beginning. Or there's a new beginning and it's coming in and it's a bit of a challenge at the minute. So why is this coming around now for my Aquarius? Sorry, flyer. Yeah, it's definitely something to do with spiritual awakening. That's what I was feeling earlier. Aspects of yourself, because it's coming around because your spirit guides are stepping in. Spiritual strength. So... Spiritually, you're getting stronger, so you're seeing you, you may be going up against your ego. Um, like spiritually, you're seeing the truth within yourself. It's kind of you've been looking, you've been doing the outwards work, and I kind of feel like you're going inwards and doing the inner work now, you're taking a look at yourself, um, a bit deeper at the aspects of yourself that need to uh die out, uh, you know, in order for rebirth. So, recent past. Two. Right, recent past, we've got another major arcana. So, we've got intuition on opening new doors. So, yeah, there is new doors opening. You already know that. You can feel it at the new beginnings. But we still need to shut doors, if you got what I mean. These doors need shutting. The challenge is to shut some doors because your intuition is telling you there's new doors opening. You know, there's more light behind these doors. Straight on top of that, foundations and achievements. So you are achieving. Like recently, you've achieved something intuitively. You know, with the rainbow there and stuff. It's like you've achieved something. So you might have lost everything and started gathering it back in your 3D life. Say, money, business or, or anything like that. Anything to, that could have affected the, the, the family. But I do feel like it's been brought on by spirit. Maybe you needed to lose certain things to kind of gain the lesson or see the blessings that you already had be grateful you know to find the true meaning of gratitude i don't know where i'm getting that from but um go with it and then two together four and two six love you know so maybe you're coming out of the fear and going into love because basically that's all there is in the world in there fear love so at present my aquarius is wants to come out yeah the truth so it's like you're seeing the truth i do feel like you've got one more giant leap to do and then bang universe do you know what i mean but i'm looking at 2020 being a good year for you you, you know or like 
but you're seeing the truth. I think that it, it, there could be some Aquarius out there doing, doing actual mirror work. Another major arcana. So you've got one, two, three, four major arcanas now uh, out of six cards. Um, so you are going through a major arcanic event in your life. Um, but I do feel like there's no other person there. I think you're taking on yourself. You know, to to get this like awakening, to get out into the universe. It's like balancing the scales, the scales of karma maybe, do, do you know what I mean? So you're going back and you're seeing the truth of situations, you're reevaluating, you're looking at yourself. I, I'm kind of feeling self-work, like mirror work, looking back at the things you've done, the actions and things like that. Uh, creating balance, trying to put balance in them situations again. And I think you're definitely doing it because we've got foundations and achievements. Your intuition is telling you that this door's opening. Near future, hope, yeah. So, and when I was thinking about karma as well, I was expecting an eight. Numerology wise, we've got seven and one, eight. So, the hope is there, you know, another major arcana. So, near future, it's like you've got this newfound hope, this newfound faith, you know, in yourself. I think this is all about yourself. Um, another major arcana, you know, major arcana events spiritually. Your power in this situation, yeah, get out of your head. So you're going up against your ego. You're going up against ego. So it's like there's a war going on inside you between spirit and ego. Which one's going to win? I see spirit winning. Spiritual strength. So we need to clear the, clear it, clear the vaults, clear the shit. Outside influences. Ugh. I hate this. Yeah, disruption. So it's like you've gone through a tower moment. Um, I don't know if this is resonating from last month. Um, it's like, you, but I feel like this is... You've gone through a time moment. What I'm getting is some of my Aquariuses may have lost everything uh, or felt like they were losing everything. But you're actually not because you, it's it's a gain. You're gaining everything because you're putting yourself back together the way you should have been without everyone else's opinions and thoughts. and You know what I mean? It's like going back, like a rebirth. You, you know, it's like you're making the jigsaw fit you, if that makes any sense. That's what I've got in my head. It's like, even if the jigsaw pieces don't fit, do you, you know what I mean? You're perfectly imperfect. That's what I want to say. You're perfectly imperfect. And when we're saying that, that's making me think that you're, re you're going back and visiting things that you may, you may feel that like you've done wrong or, you know, decisions that you've made. You didn't listen. You might have known with your gut that it was the wrong thing to do at the time. But we can't go back and change things, you know. So, yeah. I feel so, I feel a lot of growth here, a, a lot of um, inner work going on, and I know I look boggard. It's because I'm looking at camera there, but my phone camera's there. <laughs> Hope so, fears. Hope so, fears. Harmony, the six. So that's what I want, the six. So hopes and fears. It's the lovers card, but it's harmony. It's peace. You know, another major arcana. So now you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven major arcanas out of nine cards. <laughs> you're majorly going through it. Um, so you just want peace and harmony and love, and that doesn't have to be within a partner. It could be, but I think this is all about you. This is definitely all about you. Grow off you. Looking at yourself. Don't look at yourself too harshly, though. Like I want to say, don't punish yourself for anything that you've done in the past, it's just take the lesson and move on. You're right, come, we've got the devil card. Um, I kind of don't want to go there though. I'm going to clarify it, but I'm thinking Capricorn. So I'm thinking end of December, beginning of Jan uh, going through to January. Capricorn season, that's where I want to go. It's also five and one, six. The devil card doesn't have to be bad. Sometimes it means that we need to go for his passions. You know, use our... This is so weird, I'm going to say something now that I was talking about. Like that. It's, it's like use your dark side as your power. 
go back and revisit it and find out the lessons that you've you've learnt from it. So clarify the temptation card. We have a card. Yeah, fulfilment of wishes. Yeah, so I'm not worried. Uh, fulfilment of wishes. I feel like Capricorn season is going to be really good for my, my Aquarius, Aquarius's. And Capricorn, January, start of 2020. I like it. A lot of major arcana there. A lot of self-work, a lot of mirror work. You're looking inwards. And that's the best place for you to be at a minute. So, Aquarius, how many? Shuffles for Aquarius, four. You're there. Three. <laughs> and you're there again with the death card. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm seeing death and rebirth. You're going for a rebirth. Four. Yeah, so. Overall energy is the high priestess. So we're waking up, we're seeing the truth of the situation. Uh, the light is shining, dying up, secrets have come out. Everything's out in the open. Things are coming out in the open. If there is any secrets left over, uh, a warning to... And my nose is really itching, I don't know why. So if someone's lying to an Aquarius or an Aquarius has been lying, it's going to come out. Um, I don't know. I always get that. And my nose really itches when I get that type of energy. Um yeah, so don't speak true be truthful. Um and make sure, go where you go around especially with people around you as well. Truthful. So the high priestess I love that card anyway. Number eleven as well. We're in November now. So the situation is we've got it's time to end this crap. So we've got the ten of swords, you know. All the past hurts, all the shit that you're carrying on your back. It's, it's, it, that is, it's time to end that now. You, you can't get enough more than that, you know. Uh, if you're feeling like you've been stabbed in the back, you know, it's it's time to end that shit. Release them thoughts of pe that the people have done that to you. It's time to take the lessons, you know. Pull the swords out. You are an air sign. The swords are yours. That's your power. Pull the swords out your own back. So, the challenge is the chariot to move forward. It's, it's to like leave all the shit behind you. Literally just move on forward. And I kept saying that in Psychic Tarot, you can't go back. You can't change anything from the past. Whether you feel guilty, whether you feel like you've done something wrong or whether someone's done it to you, you can't go and change it. All you can do is learn. Le learn the lesson from it. Take it forward. Why is it coming around now? Three of Pentacles. So it's like working together as a team. I want to clarify all these anyway, but you know, it's like working together. So you could, you could be bringing people in now that are helping you heal, uh, that, that are making you look mm -hmm. deeper into yourself. You know, it's um, the three of pentacles, you know, working together. So it could be to do with work, a workplace as well. Expansion. Expansion. I just got the word expansion. Um, so something could be expanding, whether that's your mind, your consciousness or actual 3D um workplace but it's like team building recent past yeah i do feel like a bit of a feeling sorry for yourself type of energy not seeing the blessings that were coming in and i do feel at the minute you are seeing the blessings now especially from looking at the, the psychic tarot uh say so, say so maybe the past four months maybe Unless we're going into December, so maybe the Lions Gate, the eight of the eighth, um, opened up some kind of karmic codes, and that's when we really we kind of relive the karma from the past nine years. Um, so maybe it's like you're being blessed with karmic lessons. You you know you just weren't seeing it at the time. So there's a bit of self pity there, a bit of like, but that that's not we all go through it. At present, though, we're on his way for victory. We've got six ones. On your horse and moving forward. So you're ready at present. You're moving forward. It's an exciting reading. I like it because it's all about you. 
near future ace pentacles so if i'm talking to an aquarius who lost everything it's coming back the divine are guiding you to stability to if it's finances ace of pentacles it's everything you want it's total stability and safety especially yeah i want to say safety even if it's around people team laugh safety say being around people that you can feel safe be true be true be true to self it's it's this is all about you stability and safety creating that stability again so your power in this situation is the page of cups um so there's that messages page of cups um i want to clarify it but i don't know why i'm getting from the page of cups that you are trying to right wrongs if you feel like you've hurt someone or something, you know, like with the cups, it... Yeah. You, it's like you're trying to right the wrongs. Even if you've been, even if if you weren't other people you were hurting. It could have been yourself. I mean, were you stabbing yourself in the back? Were you doing things that you knew weren't right for you and you weren't listening to your soul plexus? Like the psychic tarot was saying. Uh, do you know what I mean? It might not be other people. This could be you against you. Which is weird because I don't know why I got that from the page, uh, page of cups. So, outside influences, the ten of uh, cups. Emotional fulfilment. So, the outside influences are, yeah, I think you're, you're making a conscious effort to be happy. With the, with the emotional fulfilment and your power being the page of cups. Maybe you're starting to give back to yourself. Maybe you're starting to like release the past karma and you know, there could be apologies needed to be given or to yourself. Apologise to yourself for treating yourself that way. Yeah, you know, but hope so fears and that swords. So we've got you there anyway, but we've got things coming in quick. So you want things to be over and to be done quickly. Your outcome is the eight, karmic eight, but it's also communication coming in. I, 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 see, I feel like apologies, but I feel like, I'm going to clarify them anyway, but I feel like you need to apologise to yourself. And I don't know why. So the ten of swords, it's time to be happy. Get, take the swords out of the back. We've got the Ace of Cups now. Cups run of over. So we're learning. We're definitely learning some types with some lessons. The Chariot movement forward. Queen of Cups. So in order to move forward, we need to get on top of his emotions and use our intuition. She is the most intuitive person in the card deck, apart from the High Priestess. Um, you know, so we've got Cups. We've got a lot of emotions here. We've got a lot of water energy as well. So... Um, I don't know if you're dealing with emotions or you deal with other people's emotions or you know but I feel like you're dealing with your own emotions there's a need to get on top of that so this three of pentacles might come around the world so you're bringing new people in starting new things a new business or a new team new people new life it's like I literally want to just put a big black curtain to the past then you can't even look at it <laughs> four of cups eight of pentacles in reverse so yeah did we lose finances did we lose a job did we lose somebody emotionally did we lose a self you know eight of pentacles stability she's polishing her own pentacles learning lessons that's in reverse that's you know and that's probably why you were feeling so down with the four of cups, like self pity mode. I feel like I'm feeling like losses. There's, there's losses. We've lost something, but it's a blessing in disguise because you're gaining from this loss. Queen of Swords. Well, that's you. You're there in your power. So whatever it is you've lost, it's working for you, even though you didn't feel like it at the time. So the six of wands at the present. We've got the Three of Pentacles. So, why is it coming in the Three of Pentacles and the present Three of Pentacles? So, you are doing the work. 
that you're supposed to be doing and it's moving you forward so there could be new work coming in new employment we're going towards stability this, this seems to be more about stability safety and finances um, a very earthy reading for an SM ace of pentacles four of cups in reverse so that's really good so recent past we've got the four of cups upright feeling sorry for yourself near future we've got the ace of pentacles four of cups in reverse because you're finally starting to see the blessings that are coming in you know the, the mermaids there giving you the blessing you've got it that's the near future stability all is good the world so page of cups why are i feeling forgiveness or writing of wrongs got two so we've got the empress and we've got the knight of pentacles so yeah you're manifesting change knight of pentacles in reverse so it ain't slow moving no more you may have put it off for a long time uh but you're the empress now it's like reaping what you've sown even if that's negative you take the lesson this is what i'm saying if it's karma if it's like a karmic lesson you reap what you've sown it's time to reap what you've sown but to me, I see it as blessings. Your blessings is to heal. You, it's like you're reviewing past decisions that might have gone wrong or things you did wrong that you knew were morally wrong at the time. Just take the lesson. Just leave it. Stop thinking about it. It's just wasting your energy because you can't go back and change it. So this eight of uh, rods, what's this about? Five of swords, end of conflict. I do feel that's either you or someone else is going to apologize i'm picking up apologies um could have been to do with finances um also do with some type of wrongdoing give me one more on that five of cups in reverse love it so five of cups you know it's not a nice card it's regrets and things like that you know she's not even seen the two of cups it's regrets again it's like self-pity that you know, the cups of all war me type thing, but it's in reverse. So you're leaving that energy behind. End of conflict. So it's either a mental conflict, you're ending that mental conflict because you're going for the stability, and I'm loving this. Um, odds and apology coming in. Wrong, writing of wrongs, that's what I keep getting. The writing of wrongs. Whether that be you doing it with someone else or someone else doing it with you. But amazing read. Okay, I hope that helps, helps one out there. Bye.